In April 2025, Beijing hosted the world's first half marathon where humanoid robots raced alongside human runners, making another step forward in the robotics industry. The purpose of this race was to showcase China's robotics technology and its potential for future applications in various industries and households. Over 20 humanoid robots of various shapes and sizes competed against 12,000 human contestants, running side by side with them in a fenced off lane. The tallest robot contestant was 5 foot 10 inches tall, while the shortest, nicknamed Little Giant, was less than just 2 and a half feet tall. Look at this little guy go. He's got a good hearty pep in his step, kind of like a mall speedwalker. The robots had to overcome some slopes and a winding 13 mile course to cross the finish line, though of course not all robots made it that far. One seemed to fall apart as soon as the race began, while another drove himself straight into the wall. Many of the robots lost balance and needed to be propped back up, and about halfway through the race, some became too worn out to continue and needed to be guided by leashes by operators, which doesn't really count as completing a race in my book. The robots also had to stop and swap out batteries periodically, with some being replaced by entirely different machines. What made it interesting is that every robot varied. Some ran smoothly like humans, while others had stiff mechanical movements that looked outdated. As you probably guessed, these robots were no match for human contestants. Even amateur runners were easily passing by the robots while taking pictures of them. Out of the 21 competing robots, only 6 crossed the finish line, with the winner being Tiangong Ultra, completing the race in 2 hours and 40 minutes after 3 battery changes and a fall. However, the winner of the men's race finished in only 1 hour and 2 minutes, which is less than half that time. Despite their falls and hiccups on the track, spectators cheered on the robots for this first time ever event. The founder of Shanghai-based manufacturer Droid Up said, What matters most to us is testing things, for example, whether the robot can finish the whole race without changing batteries. Considering this was the first race of its kind, the robots really didn't do too bad on time, however, they all needed assistance. It will be interesting to see them progress in the years to come, though I'm not too thrilled with them becoming so advanced that they can beat our best athletes with ease, because mark my words, that time is coming. How do you feel about humans competing with robots in competitions and sports? Let me know in the comments section below, and to stay up to date with future content, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, save that money.